An electromagnetic freight packet will be jettisoned out to the center of the colony. We will be ejected with containers around us, so be careful. Transportation route is confirmed. We will arrive at our destination in approximately five minutes. There is no immediate danger of hitting any obstacles. <sighs> what a relief. I hope Salvis is all right. Are you concerned about her? Well, yes, of course I am. Can we talk? If you do not mind. No, I don't mind. I have calculated the expected rate of crew survival for the present mission. In a best-case scenario, there is an 8.7% rate of survival. I see. You have asked for numerous transfers from your duties aboard Jehuti. You have also had many chances to do so. May I ask why you are still here? Are you preaching to me again? No, I am simply asking out of curiosity. Well, I really don't know. Based on past experience, I can offer several plausible reasons. One, an overestimation of your fighting abilities based on an underestimation of the enemy's war potential. Two, desire for a reward in proportion to the danger of exposure to self-destruction. Three, emotional revenge for placing your crew's life in danger. Maybe you're right, but I really don't know myself. Whatever your reason, it is not logical. It is still possible for you to go back now. I do not want you to die. Ada... Well, can I tell you a story from when I was growing up? Please. I've been alone since I was a boy. My father and mother were rarely at home. We hardly went out anywhere together. When I was 10 years old, my father was posted to Jupiter, so we went out for a rare family dinner together. I was so happy, but during the entire meal, my father and mother were fighting over who would take me. They weren't arguing to get me. They both wanted to get rid of me. That only reinforced my belief that I was an unwanted child. My friends and my teachers, too. It's always been like that. I was the child no one wanted. Nobody will be upset if I'm gone. Even if I die, there would be no one to mourn my loss. The reason I stay here is because I'm needed. Selvis and you are by my side, and... <laughs> there are even people to give me orders when I don't understand what's going on. There are people who need me finally, and for that, I'll devote my life to them. Are you saying that you would sacrifice your life, your only life, for someone else? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I feel that together, we can do it. We are almost at the central hub. There are sure to be many enemy orbital frames. It is expected that the battle will begin as soon as we arrive at the central hub. Please be very careful. Yes, sure. I am. What? I am one of those who need you. I am incapable of feeling sorrow. But do not throw your life away so easily. I understand. Thank you. We will be arriving at the central hub in a matter of moments. So here you are. <laughs> Viola, this is an order. Get out immediately. I refuse your order. If you try to interfere, I'll kill you. Why do you want him so badly? He's only a kid. Only a kid, is he? <laughs> it's not just that frame that makes him so good. I know that. Just get out of there. The mission will be accomplished even without you. So you don't have to die in vain. You should know. Nate is immortal. 
<laughs> Almost there. Soon, everything will be over. I will search for the time bombs being set in the central hub. I will let you know every time I find one, so give priority to detonating it correctly rather than to destroying the enemy. Detonating bombs correctly? How do I do that? It is the same as grab and throw. Keep holding the bomb until it explodes. We will direct the blast into a vector trap. I got it. Be sure not to throw it. I'll try. Uh, so, for disarming the bombs, enemies just basically spawn in waves forever until you get rid of all the bombs. Once that timer's out or finished, a bomb just kind of spawns somewhere. Ah, okay. It's not too difficult. There... It is good to clear out as many enemies as you can before you go grab the bomb, though, because uh, if they shoot the bomb, it blows up. Oh, well, that's no good. It's... Disarming! Disarming the bomb! My glowy flying bits! If you kind of face away with your back towards them, it's harder for them to hit the bomb, but still. Mm -hmm. I should also mention... Uh, during that last cutscene, and like two other times, basically any time Vi Viola's been on screen, uh, and she's talking to that that military commander, his name has been mentioned once, but he's kind of important. <laughs> his name he, he his name is Colonel Noman. Okay. Uh, you don't really get to see him quite he yet. He should probably but... get a cooler name if we're supposed to remember him. Yeah. He has like three different names depending on what media you're. Ah, you're uh, yes, Shawashaska. <laughs> the, uh. We have down the enemy. He has we two different names the in the games, and then he has another name in the anime. Not because he we has multiple different names, enemy. but because, uh, the localization for Zone of the Enders is not great. Oh god, five seconds left. I did it. Yeah. Oh, so it stops the clock immediately. Oh, yeah. Okay. The bomb was detonated correctly. This is... It's a little apparent in this game, but it's going to be way more apparent when we get to Zone of the Enders 2. Uh, they did not hire great localizers for, for <laughs> translating these games. Uh, and 2 especially is very weird. Ugh. So the level cap in this game is level 8, mm -hmm. but you kind of have to, to ever actually reach level 8. you got to go back and forth between maps and grind a little bit. Mm -hmm. Although you might... I guess there's a better chance of you reaching 8 if you don't know the exact route you have to go for all the things it makes you do. That makes sense. Yeah. It helps, but it isn't enti really... Oh man, there's a 7S. Does the S make a difference? Why are some of them S's? Uh, S just means he's part of a, a squad. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The the ones that have the AI leaders or whatever. But yeah, level 7 guys are pretty... I feel like on top of just moving around a lot, they might get extra invincibility frames or something, because there are times it feels like you might actually hit them, but they just kind of slip through your attacks. Mm -hmm. Well, that would just be rude. Mm -hmm. The bomb was detonated correctly. <laughs> Viola, I'm gonna end this now! <laughs> so the second fight with Viola, or third, I guess. <laughs> Basically fights the same way as before, except some of her attacks are modified now. Like her burst attack shoots six instead of one. Uh, some of her projectiles home in more. Uh, she's actually easier than the, the previous fight, I think. <laughs> well, you're kind of getting wrecked, though, yeah. so... It's the, the burst attacks just on hard mode home in a lot more than uh, on normal mode. Yeah, that's pretty homey, homey. Mm -hmm. So thankfully, at this point, you've got so much mummy, it doesn't matter too much. Uh, she doesn't really know how to block at this point, though. That's the issue. Uh, well, because so all of her arm parts. <laughs> yeah, if you just get right up in her face, then she can't do much. She can try and grab, but it's pretty easy to get out of it.
Do you want me to shift the monitor to the outer camera? Yes. Ada, could we go and save the frame? Jehuti is not designed to resist entry into Jupiter's magnetic storm. The orbital frame is already being pulled ever faster by gravity. While it is not impossible to save the orbital frame, it is very risky. Any ideas? Stop it. What? Still you insult me. Don't even consider it. If you save me, I will fight you again, and I will kill you. I'll kill the people that are precious to you first, and then you. And you won't be the last. I'll continue to kill even after that. But you'll... <laughs> I was beaten by such a naive brat. Viola. I have lost everything. I survived many battles. I lost my parents and my lover. I don't have the functions of a woman now. Even then, I have continued to live. Right. To survive was the only purpose to life. To survive is my life. In battle, there's a slight gap between life and death. Those who were killing were themselves dead a moment later. I killed innocent children and even my comrades to save myself. Soaking in their blood and eating their flesh, I managed to live this long. It is not a matter of my luck. It was only my vibrant power that kept me alive. I survived through my own strength. You ruined it for me. Who the hell are you? What am I inferior to you in? Have you ever... Have you ever experienced any hardship in your life? You, your very existence itself, denies mine. Time to end it. Finally, I am finished. My ill-fated days forever over. Boy, will you answer one stupid question? Yes. What is it? Was I strong? It's hard to believe that I'm still alive. Is that so? <laughs> Thank you. The target is disintegrating. Viola? Beautiful. You knew how beautiful the stars really are. Viola! Rada. At last, I can be with you. Viola! The target has ceased functioning. Confirmed. What is it? What's going on? Ada? I detect an enemy presence behind us. Jehuti is resonant with that train. Ada? Where did it come from? Radar didn't catch it. In our present condition, you cannot defeat Anubis. Recommend you fly away. Anubis, you said? You know it? Ada! That frame is another Jehuti. You two are not destined to meet yet. What do you mean? I knew others could be killed, but I never thought it could happen to Viola. She was a capable officer. You! You ordered all this! 
No, not me. <laughs> well, perhaps. In any case, you will die. A farewell gift to Viola. <laughs> Alright, so fighting Anubis. Uh, this is Colonel Noman. Uh-huh. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the whole invasion is to... Is is for Barum to get both of these frames. They got Anubis, at least. Uh, good luck exactly doing any I kind of damage to Anubis. He's, he's pretty much invincible. Okay. Well, that makes for a fun fight. Yeah. Uh, it actually is possible, but it's not through normal design. It's through tricking his AI. It's impossible for you to kill me. Main torque bus in the body is damaged. Superiority index has dropped to minus 99.83. I was so close! Leo, can you hear me? Leo? Elena? I'll blast a hole in the side walls of the central hub in 15 seconds. Follow the beacon signal. I'll give you cover with my cannons. Be careful. If you deviate even slightly from the beacon, you'll get burned. I'll try. See you soon. Good luck. <laughs> So the actual fight with Anubis is more it's just don't get killed. Survival effect. Yeah, just don't die for a little while here. Thankfully, you can just dodge out of those grabs, so it's not too hard to do that. Marking the beacon. Roger. Is that the one? Good. Let me go and pick you up. It will require three minutes to stow away in the hangar and to pressurize. Please wait. You know, thank you for everything. Because you are with me, I survived. I feel the same. Thank you for helping me out. Is that the right usage of words to show human gratitude? <laughs> sort of, yes. Well, what are you going to do now? What? After you reach Mars. You have an important mission, don't you? If it's okay with you, I mean, after you finish your mission... Jehuti's duty on Mars is to penetrate the military fortress Alman and to destroy the fortress from the inside by self-destructing Jehuti. Jehuti will self-destruct? By deliberately overactivating the generator, Jehuti will generate a maximum of 22.3 gigatons. That is equal to the power of 15 positron bombs. Wait a minute! You mean you'll deliberately explode this frame? What about you? All my functions aboard Jehuti will cease. So it's a suicide mission? I thought it was you who told me not to waste my life! Pressurization is complete. Opening the hatch. Thank you. Ada! This is what I live for. This is the purpose of living. For those who have no life. No! The end, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's only end just one. It kind of just ends. Yeah. Remy LeBeouf. Oh, yeah, Gambit. I love that guy. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, so yeah, Zoni enters, you know, the first one says, like, oh, we're going to leave and then, like, go to Mars and all stuff. And you think, oh, when you're leaving here, you know, okay, cool. We're going to have a big setting change, go to Mars. Well, it ends before you get to do that. Oh. Also, like, your final boss is fighting the same person twice and then surviving a little bit? Yeah, it's a little strange. Like, fighting Viola is totally Kiss fun. Kiss me, sunlight. <laughs> Kiss me. Fighting Viola is totally fun, but it, it, it does feel like a little like, oh, because you don't get, like, it doesn't feel like you get a proper final boss. I like with the name of Hope. Like if there was a way to overcome Anubis. Yeah. I mean, having Anubis be, like, this big spooky thing who's there and you have to run away from does kind of set him up as, like, a big powerful bad guy that you want to fight later on, I guess, but... Yeah, but that... It would have been better if that was, like, not the final thing you do. Like, that's before Viola or something. Right. But all of that, the length of the game, and only having one setting while talking about the rest of the war, it really yeah. makes it feel more like a prequel than a full game. Yeah, totally. Uh... Thankfully, Zone the Enders 1 sold very well, entirely because everybody wanted the Metal Gear Solid 2 demo disc that came with it. <laughs> uh, so it got a sequel, like, only two years later. And the sequel is uh, extremely good. It is... I would say the improvement from 1 to 2 is similar to the improvement from Uncharted 1 to Uncharted 2. Mm hmm it is that kind of thing where it's like, okay, they have the basic idea, but what if they made it really good the next time? <laughs> uh, again, I'd like to thank everybody for hanging out with us. This is sort yeah. of a, a quick one, but a Zone of the Enders 2 is coming right on its heels. Yep. Look out for that. Yeah, a lot of people, and like, you know, we said even in this, you know, this is a Kojima game. Kojima has his name all over all the Zone of the Enders stuff. Uh, but he's actually not, like, the head dude of these games. He's not really? the director or anything. He was the, the producer, if I remember correctly. Okay. Uh, so, you know, he had a say in the game, but he was not the creative force behind most of it. Unless it was, like, a trailer for the game. <laughs> because that dude loves his trailers. So, yeah, thank you, uh, Noriaki Okamura and Shiro Mukaide. Yeah. And, and all these other people on screen right now. <gasps> right now. Oh, oh, we're losing them. They're going away. Oh, bye. bye, -bye. bye. So the, the song playing here uh, changes depending on how well you did during the game. Uh, mainly the SOS missions. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, either you get one song uh, or the other, depending on whether or not you get all A ranks. Uh, but the reason why I played hard in this game is because it's literally impossible to get an overall A rank unless you play in hard or up. Which is a little weird. So even if you play in normal mode and get all A's, your overall rank is a B. Oh, that's how they get you. Yeah, uh, a little <laughs> confusing, but... So what, what happens if you ignore the SOS missions? I mean, I know there are a few that are actual, like, storyline missions, so you can't skip all of them, but... Oh, no, you can actually skip every single SOS. Even uh, the last one? Yeah. Oh, okay. You can ignore it. Um, ignoring them is essentially the same thing, thing as an E-rank, except you can't get the bad ending from it. Because oh, you don't okay. deliberately go out of your way to slaughter people. <laughs> So the, the cosmic forces conspire to keep Rock Thunderheart alive. Oh yeah, totally. I love Rock Thunderheart. Oh, I'm glad somebody was sending checks to all the bugs. Aww. Bug check dreams. <laughs> Somebody check the bugs dreams. Uh, it's mostly garbage. Mm. A whole lot of garbage in there. All right. Oh, thanks to the MGS2 staff. Yeah, Kojima's just the producer. He, he's got a say in everything, but 
wasn't really the driving force behind any of the Zone of the Enders. It was also a Game Boy Advance Zone of the Enders, actually. It's like a tactics-based uh, RPG. Is that any good? Uh, I haven't played it, but it sounds like it's pretty decent. Okay. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Ah! Ah! Uh, and at a later point, we'll also be taking a look at the versus mode. Cool, cool, cool. All right. See you then.